Okay, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, <laughs> and uh, we're going to start with this recording. I'm going to do the, I, I try to do the file folder recording separate, so if anybody is following along and doing them, they're a separate video. Now, I think I need to lighten this up just a little. When I, um, there we go. So this this week's file folder fodder project week nine is birds bugs and butterflies and i've not put mine together yet so we're going to do that right now uh the only thing i've done i've gathered all my stuff i've made i've stamped make find have and given the same one same i always do these little feathers i need to put them in a little bag they keep wanting to get away from me. let's get a little bag oops sorry guys i bumped the let me find a little bag for those I think I have a bag for those. Um, that's too big. Here we go. One of these. Let's put the feathers in one of these. Okay. Because they keep blowing away. I have the fan going behind me, and it keeps blowing those little feathers away. So this week, week nine, a file folder fodder is birds, bugs, and butterflies. And so I just wanted to have some little feathers in here and again I'll reiterate this is not necessarily a way for you to store every piece of fodder that you have under the topic it's just a way for you to uh, now sometimes I think it would be cool to like to give to somebody if they're if for a, a gift on a topic like a travel um, you know I'm thinking about maybe making cam one from when he went to LA with the photos a little plastic sleeve of pictures in it with some receipts and things that he did out there <clears throat> but it's really a way for you to keep a, an idea of what is in that topic and I'm gonna find I'm gonna put mine on a shelf I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put different tabs than these I'm gonna put little tabs and put what's in each of the 12 weeks plus don't forget you can make your own on any topic that it, you want it doesn't have to be um, hey blue sky Brenda it doesn't have to be just the ones that we do in these 12 weeks so if there's a topic that means something more to you then you want to you know do your own file folder on that so if y'all have any questions, put them in caps. If you're watching the recording, it's a live show, live chat on Ustream. It's Coffee and Art in the Morning, and I'm Dee Dee, and I'm here every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern, and occasionally during the week on an impromptu stream. So feel free to come over and meet everybody. Um, we usually have a pretty full house for 9 a.m. <laughs> So, yeah, Carrie said they're a quick reference, except hers are folded differently and overstuffed. Yes, you can fold them backwards or forwards. The reason I fold them in like this is so nothing falls out, and then I, you know, put something around them. And I'll do a full review. Well, I say full review. I'm not going to show every piece and every bit in all 12 folders at the end of the 12 weeks, but I will recap the 12 weeks at the end of the 12 weeks. This is week nine. And, uh... So we still have three more weeks to go. I, ha I did finish my Inktober, 31 Days of Mr. Jake Parker's Challenge. And um, me and Whippy Smart Carol did 31 days. I don't know if there's anyone else here that uh, participated and did the 31 days. And now I know other people are on to Nano Jamo. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Writing um, for the week, I mean the month of November, there's a writing and I think there's a journaling one. There's a journaling one and a writing one in November. Now I don't do those. I never have and I'm not really big on writing and especially writing and sharing things. But um, so if you're participating in that, we'll hope everybody hangs in there for your 30, 30 31 days of uh, those projects okay so again I have pulled all kinds of different things for birds bugs and butterflies including a little bird that Carrie who says oh I can't draw mm -hmm. she drew this bird we did a swap I sent her a chocoboo 
from Final Fantasy. And she sent me, uh, she sent me this one. We just, uh, yeah, did an exchange uh, uh, one a few weeks ago. Maybe it's a couple months now. But anyway, so this will go in my given, my birds, bugs, and butterflies, because it was given to me. Again, we have make. This is things that you either want to make, have ideas to make. You can put it on a tag, a card, an index card, some kind of note of things that you want to or have made. Your ideas to make things with birds, bugs, or butterflies. Find is things that you might find um, like, um, let's say you are at, you know, um, a museum or, and I'm just using that as an example for this topic, or you go to, uh, or, is it ornitho ornithology? <laughs> That's birds, right? I think so. And, and you get some postcards or you find something out and about, an ad or something that has birds on it or bugs or butterflies. Things that you have. If you have bits of, you know, scrapbook paper, if you have little bits of ephemera, faux ephemera, real ephemera, your cutouts from your uh, cameo or your, you know, punches or anything like that. Again, don't think you have to put every single bit and bob in here. Well, that's okay. That's all right, Carrie. It's it, I have it. That's that's the most important thing. And um, you could uh, just just to remember that you have that. In other words, you don't have to put every single cutout, punch, or or die cut that you have that's a bird, bug, or butterfly in here. But if you put a couple, you will remember. Oh yeah, I have that. So that if you do a project, that is your idea. This is also great for kids for their projects for school projects or just if they love something if they love birds or bugs or butterflies or whatever their love is you can make them a file folder fodder for any topic that they are interested in and let them collect in that in there throughout the year again this doesn't have to be a one-shot project you can con continuously add to this all the time. If I find a, a, a bird postcard three weeks from now, I can go put it in here. And what's really great though is for kids to find, you know, to collect things. Whether it's for a school project or just something that they love in particular. So keep that in mind too. And then I think it was last week, one of the girls, I don't know, it was Marie, somebody mentioned about quilts. And again, if you're giving a quilt to somebody or any kind of a handmade project, you could document uh, your, you know, your progress, the kind of fabrics you used in the quilt, the little swatches, how much time it took, when you worked on it. You could write a story about, you know, why you're making that quilt for that person, what it meant to you to make it, what it meant to you to give it. And you know, you can, and you don't have to use these exact topics either. It can be whatever fits the project. So feel free to customize these things to your, what you like to make, collect, or keep track of, or give. Okay, so let me just go kind of go through here. Again, they are not really in any particular order. Let me just take everything out. All I did over the last, you know, while is just collect this stuff up and I've not actually made the folder. Well, I shouldn't say that. I haven't, uh, I haven't put it together yet uh, other than stamping. And also, let me remind y'all, pack or die, and I'll put her link in the uh, description again. I tried to do that. If y'all don't know that pack or die is also doing the fall folder decorating part. So I haven't really decorated my folders up a lot, except maybe some stamps, a little bit of gluing, some ideas in, or, in things like that. But pack or die is the one that really is decorating up. Uh, the file folder so check out her videos on YouTube I'll put again I'll put a link but if everybody here probably knows pack or die hey Eileen anybody else popping in okay so this will be and I don't know if I'll put birds bugs and butterflies or birds bugs and butterflies that probably fit better like that and again, I'm not really decorating mine up, but you can paint these, collage them, mixed media. Check out the way Packer Dye did hers for 
uh, examples of decorating the folders. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of quickly go through here and show you some of the things that I've collected up for birds, bugs, and butterflies. On the ends of the folder of the uh, folders, and I do have a full thing of how I folded these at the beginning of the series, and I did put all these in a playlist. So they should all be in one uh, folder on YouTube, all the recordings for these to, for easy, uh, to find them easy. But what I usually do on the ends here is I'll just fold up the tabs because I'm going to make my own extra tabs to uh, label them at the end, but I, I don't want anything falling out. So what I usually do is I'll just put a little bead of glue and you know every file folder depending on where the little flap is could be up here, could be here, or could be you know it, it could be at different uh, places. So I just kind of glue that down and then I usually find some kind of washi tape. Let's see, I haven't looked for any in my stash of washi tape that might be birds, bugs, or butterflies. This is one of my trays. Um, it's a little messy. And it doesn't necessarily have to... Okay, here's some owls. We'll go with owls. And I, what I usually do is I make sure I glue that because it, you know... And then, I'll, then what I'll do is add some washi tape. And I think what I'll do is I'll go, I think I'll just go all the way across the bottom here. Let me move this out of the way. I think I'll just put a row of owls all the way across the bottom here because that looks cute. <laughs> so this side has a flap that I glued over and then this side, I don't want to glue that because I want it to be able to uh, fit something in there. Let me get a pair of scissors. And then I will, um, on the other side, depending on what, which bit of the file folder, I usually just take a bit of card like this. I'll just take a little bit of card and, and make a little bit extra of a flap because where the thing is right there, the um, dent, you know, the um, right there. I want to put something there to make sure that I can close this up but still have a full folder so that you have room for everything. Oh, let me go here. So let me just tape a little bit of card in here. You can just put tape if you want, but I just want to make sure that it's secure so I can still put everything in that flap. Okay. So we'll have a double row of owls, like that. Okay. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for opening links. Yeah, there's Packer Die. It just, if you just put in Packer Die, you'll find her on YouTube. Easy peasy. <laughs> hey, Janet. All right, so there we go. That is the, you know, the way just to seal up the ends so that nothing falls out of your little pockets. All right, so let me show you what I have. Again, I'm gonna start with this. This is what Carrie uh, sent me, and this is her hand-drawn bird, and it's awesome, Carrie. And what I like about with that she emailed it to me is I can make it any size. So I, I can remember that if I wanna use it. You know, of course, I, I, anytime I use somebody something, I give them credit for it, but uh, if I put it on a decoration or something, I almost want to put it on my cover, Carrie. I think I want to put it on my cover. I think I will. I'm going to cut them out. And I'm going to, let's see how I can cut her name in out too to make it fold. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I don't know if I want to cut him completely out or keep him on white because I got her, uh, I have her uh, signature on here. So I think what I'll do is go that way and then fold over the sick. There we go. I got it. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this. This will be my decoration on this folder. And then we'll go, that can go around the back. Let's make sure it's going to fit. Right there on the file folder. 
Okay, that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is glue stick because it's, it's thin paper. So if you have thin paper, you can glue stick. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just glue stick this up well, all the way to the edge. And really, if you want to uh, use glue stick and make sure you get edge to edge, I have an old phone book that I, I usually, <laughs> I'll put this on an old phone book and then you can go right off the edge of what you're gluing and you don't have to worry about uh, getting it on anything. All right, so I'm going to put it right there. And then we'll wrap this around the back and then wrap her signature into the thing here. It's going to go right over the word make. I'll just rewrite the word make. So I've got our signature right there, and a little chickadee right there on the cover. Love it! Love it, Carrie! All right, so let me show you some of the things that we have to go in. Again, cutouts and things, punches or die cuts. I sometimes put these in the make. Sometimes, you know, depending on if, it's ha if it is something made or I am going to make it. I don't want to forget, though. That's the point of for me, is I don't want to forget what I have to use. So, and then I think somebody sent me this one. I'm still going to put it in the make, although I might have been, I'm not sure who said that. I don't remember. It was APG Jamie. And uh, <clears throat> I have stamps. Okay, these are all bird stamps, postage, canceled postage stamps. So I have those. I think I'm going to put that in the given because, and given for me is anything that has been given to me or I want to give and share. So it's either or. All right, so I have that. This is one of the bug postcards that we made from the year-long project. And this was one that was left over from that year-long uh, folder, file folder project. And I do have people asking me about that all the time. And I really can't give a full description of every, because that was a, that was a year-long project. And every month was different. Every month had different projects, questions, research, and it had different things every month. So it's really something I can't just do. I can't just show you and that you get it because it was a, year-long project and unfortunately that's gone off a of use stream because we're only allowed you know so many um so much uh data saved on Ustream anymore and that's why gene got me to start uploading on youtube thank you sassy pants and um so for the past year i've been uploading all my use streams to youtube but that one was like three years ago, so I don't have that one. But this was one of the, the cards in the project, so I think I'm going to put, well, I think I'll put that in make. No, I'll put it in have, because I didn't, I made it, but it's something that I, I have. Again, tags, little decorative tags like this, um, you can put, if you, and again, think about your kids or grandkids, if you're, or if you're a teacher, think about these kind of things for them. If you do a bugs, birds, or butterfly, or one, even one of them, like all birds or all bugs, think about getting some little tags, whether it's like this size or regular. Let me see if I can grab one up here somewhere. I've got some tags up here somewhere. You know, shipping tags. I can't put my hand on one right now. Shipping tags or any kind of even handmade tags where they can list every kind of bird. Okay, if it's just for birds, they could have tags listing every kind of bird. You could make one tag for every kind of bird they find. So let's say they're out there, they find, uh, they see a sparrow. Um, they could write sparrow, do a little research, write a little information on it. So, you know, have them make tags or, you know, uh, index cards for each thing, depending on their age and their skill level and all that. Um, I, I just put this little bit of tissue paper in here because this is a, I wanted to remind y'all and myself that this is a kind of cool stuff. You can wrap up bits of things you find, whether it's ephemera, feather, you know, um, whatever it is. Use your little, your little bags, use tissue paper, 
use little envelopes like this use anything like this to collect your fodder in you know things you find and then you know if i have a bunch of little let's see let's just put my stickers in there i have all these little stickers bug stickers bee stickers here's a penguin raven some more bugs what other stickers do i have here I might have some more stickers here somewhere got some cutouts here's some more tags these little tags have bugs and butterflies on them so again Put, you know make one for each of the kind of bugs or whatever you find and if you do a lot if you do a, if, especially if they're kids and they do a lot of uh, collecting and researching you could have one for birds and one for bugs and separate them out but little things like little packets like this just put a little piece of washi tape on it and so that you can open and close it and then you can keep all the little bits kind of um, kind of uh, contained you know so you put this little bit bit of washi tape on there to hold the stickers so that's something actually Denise gave me these I want to put them in giving because I'll probably give them away too napkins okay so we all have different kind of napkins and so I've got and people have given these to me so what I'm gonna do here today is I'm probably gonna give away a little in a little uh, envelope full of stuff. I'm gonna. I got this dragonfly. I got this little bird. I got this napkin with some chickens and some eggs and some feathers. And then this one with bugs. So I'm gonna give this away today. And probably let me give away a couple of these tags. And I'll give away. I got some more of these large ones. Aren't there some small ones too? Yeah, these little coin envelopes. These are good to collect things in. So we'll do a little giveaway today with all kinds of little stuff. I also have some different little cutouts. I think these are from one of the color books. We'll put that in the giveaway. I'll just keep a couple just to remind myself. <laughs> um, I have all kinds of these little die cuts. They're little butterfly die cuts. I think they're from probably Kay and Company. There's a bird. Put some of these in the little giveaway. And um, then I have a little bee. I love bees. And I had that already. Again, I had this. I don't know. I think somebody gave me this little mini uh, postcard thing. Um, this is from an old bit of scrapbook paper. Now, it's too wide to fit. So, you know, I'll just cut that down a little. It says today. I really love this scrapbook paper. Who was it? I think it was Rona Ferrar's paper. So, I had that. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, okay, I'll put this in the giveaway. It's a little vellum bird. It's a little vellum, piece of vellum. We'll put that in there. Um, then I have, um, I don't know why this was in here. This, this I thought this was, uh, this goes in another one. Okay. Uh, little tags, a bird cage. Put that in the giveaway. And then someone sent me, I think, this vintage postcard of a swan. So we'll put that in the given. I'm just kind of going through. There's another little vellum bird. Let's put that in there. So you got all these little vellum bits of ephemera and then little uh, die cuts like this. I'll put one of those in the giveaway too. That's a vellum one. Um, more little seagulls and things like that. Um, I think I have those. Then there's all kinds of different things that are like out of the Flow magazine. I think these were out of flow. They're little uh, like bit, uh, mini postcards. They're, they want you to color them. We'll put one of those in there. So that has something to do to make. I have to make that. I have to color it. Um, hey, Ella. Anybody else? Let's see. You have the dragonflies, Eileen. Let's see who else is here. Sorry if I missed you. I'm kind of going through this kind of quick because there's quite a bit of stuff. Oh, here is a... Um, peacock napkin we'll put that in the giveaway so i'm just going to make a little envelope of bugs birds it looks like it's mostly birds a couple of bugs in there and i really haven't come across a lot of butterf uh, butterflies now i do have some of these feathers i don't i kind of hesitate to send this kind of thing to anybody because they may be allergic so i'm not going to send any uh, real feathers although they're craft feathers they're probably i don't know what kind of birds they are but they dye them you know I mean, they don't dye the birds, they dye the feathers. 
And uh, but craft feathers, something like that can go and make. And I've got those to go on those masks. Here's some um, some rub-ons. That's something that's good for making. Let's see, is it a rub-on or stickers? No, I think they're, are they rub-ons? No, they're stickers. Look, they're stickers. Okay, we'll put some of those. I'll have to cut them down to fit in an envelope, though. Let me cut some off there. So there's some, uh, some stickers. We're just going to make a little goodie bag here of giveaway. All right, so that, is that going to fit? Okay, let's I think that'll barely fit in there. Um, this is, like I said, from the Flow magazine. This is a piece of, um, of stationery that came in the Flow magazine. I'm just going to fold it a little neater here. And I found that, so we'll put that in there. Oh, and again, the Flow magazine and the Flow books. The Flow magazines and books, they have all kinds of cool graphics in them made by all different artists. Now, they're not cheap. The Flow books are like 30 bucks. They're about this thick. And I've shown them before. Well, let me quickly show because somebody will be asking. And there's, I think, three of them out now, and I only have two. Uh, the Flow Book for Paper Lovers. And because they're printed, uh, I think they're printed in the Netherlands. Uh, they started being public, uh, printed somewhere else, but I think now uh, it's a Dutch it's a Dutch publication, and they publish it in Dutch and English and maybe other languages by now. But it's all paper goods. It's all color books, stickers, posters, all kinds of postcards, tags, greeting cards, greeting paper, and it's just packed full of this kind of stuff, like these little tags. Or little, they're, they're like they can be gift tags, they can be little mini postcards. So, I'm gonna throw in a butterfly and a bird in the giveaway. So, again, all kinds of little things like this. You can either put it in something with the make, there's a take the flower out, but dragonflies, bugs, birds, and so you can either put it in find or if you want to make something with it. A uh, little bit, some more color book. This is out of the Flow magazine, it was a color book page. Of an owl in the flow magazine I'll go ahead and put that in the um, little envelope here these are some old uh, these are pick I printed these offline on there was something I printed offline uh, years and years ago when I was doing the clean out of the studio and with Denise's help I came across these so I'm gonna I can put some in the half or the fine either one because I had those more stickers let's go ahead and put some of these little stickers in the giveaway here's some little ladybugs and then these are some um, Marjol Bastine she used to uh, well she probably still does I don't know uh, do um, Hallmark books and greeting cards and she used to be my favorite greeting card artist and she did uh, some of y'all probably remember her this is the kind of stuff that she did so I'll share this with I'll share this with the giveaway so I'll put that in find and give some away okay all right so there we go we got a little goodie bag here what's this that's just a piece of paper all right. Well, so we'll give away a little packet of uh, stuff here. And you don't have to be participating. Maybe getting this little bit will get you started <laughs> doing it. Maybe it'll uh, get you started doing a file folder project like this. All right. So, again, I do not know. I have not decided what to wrap this up with. You know, some kind of a pretty red ribbon would be pretty like, you know, even though a chickadee's yellow, maybe a yellow one. Or maybe I have some yellow and black. Let's see. Uh, I got some ribbon hanging here. I got my big box of ribbon, but I also have, oh, you know what? Let's go with this. This is cool. I have this shoelace. <laughs> I have this shoelace that's black and white. I think we'll go with that. We'll tie it, this cool shoelace around here and tie a pretty bow around the little Miss Chickadee. And uh, yeah, so you can decorate it any way you want. Again, if you want to see fancier decorations with collage and other things, check out Packer Die. She's really, really decorating them up. Awesome. And uh, so there we go. So there's our little chickadee. So hey, Sherry, Trina, anybody else popping in? 
That was a that was the book, Marie. This is the Flow book. Okay, the Flow magazine is more you know this thick and in a more of a magazine size. I can't tell a a whatever European number it is. Um, but this is the Flow book. The Flow books are like twenty nine dollars. The Flow magazines I think are like. I'm thinking somewhere between 16 and 19. I can't remember. I didn't buy this month's because I, I bought a color book instead. <laughs> I bought a, I spent my um, discretionary color book funds <laughs> on the color book. Anyway, but uh, if you love any kind of uh, paper stickers, any all this postcards, you know, see, I've used a lot of it too. I have two of these and I think there's three. I think uh, Jane. I think Jane is the one that sent me the first one as a gift. And that's how I found out about it. <laughs> so there's that. Let's go ahead and do a drawing real quick. And I think I'll find something. I do have some kind of, well, here, let's put it in the rest of this tissue paper. It's a little torn up. Let's see if I can wrap this up pretty with the leftover tissue paper here. We'll wrap this up for a giveaway. And I'll put it in a nice little envelope and we'll do a bit. Let me put some owl washi tape on here. And we will do a giveaway and call this file folder fodder episode week nine. We'll call it a wrap. I try to keep them about 30 minutes and we're like right at 31. So it's, it's birds, bugs, and butterflies this week. And uh, Carrie had drawn this little chickadee, and so I put it on the cover of mine. All right, so guys, let's do a drawing. Again, this is how it works. <laughs> Carrie always helps me, thank goodness. <clears throat> I will, when I, wait till I type in the word go. When you see me type in the word go, put a number in between 1 and 100. One number only. After everybody puts in a number between 1 and 100, the closest without going over to random.org will win our little bundle. Okay? So it's just, you know, it's no big deal. Just a little something, something to give, you know, away. And um, I need, I still have my Ben Ben bookmarks. I gave away a couple of them. I need to give away some more. Ben. Oh, by the way, Ben, Ben did get, I sent him back one of the Ben Ben bookmarks. And it was like, you didn't have to send me back my stuff. I go, well, we know, we you know. I say we because it's all of us that are here. I said, it's just our way of thanking you for sending us some studio fodder. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, he uh, messaged me and said he got his Ben Ben bookmark and the Ben Ben. He goes, what am I supposed to do with that ribbon? And I said, well, if you don't, you know, put it on a bookmark or just give it away. You know, it's whatever. But anyway, he's so cute. We love our Ben. And um, so, anyway, let me put my little tag back on here. Nine. All right, so I'm going to type in the word go. Again, one number only, closest without going over. And if you're not doing the file folder project, you can still participate. Maybe this will get you started in some form or another. You know, you, you take, make it your own. It doesn't have to be the way I did it. Make it your own. All right. Okay, you got plenty of time. Take your time to put in a number. Oh, I mean, you don't have to take your time, but, you know, put in a number. There's, you have plenty of time to put a number in. And so the closest without going over to the random.org that we'll put in in a minute, and I'll send this out. And if I, if you're, I have pretty much everybody's address, but if I do not have, if you're, if you're new and I don't have your address, um, you can email me, and I'll put my email in there in a minute when everybody's done. Uh, email me your address, or if you're new and you visit here a couple of times and like the show and want to hang out, if you would like me to send you an art card, again, you can email me. at. Well, I'll put my email in here shortly. And um, I'll send you an art card, which I'm still in the process. I try to make a batch a week. Uh, you know, sometimes I get a little behind, so I'll, I have you on the list. Don't worry, I'm still going to send you out an art card. I just have to make batches at a time. I was painting some backs of them this morning before I hit record. So, um, and I'll send you an art card. And uh, so I really appreciate everybody stopping in and being here. 
Thanks, Carrie. Okay, I'm not seeing any more numbers. So I'm going to type in stop and Carrie will stop the chat. Now let's do random.org. I guess I should have brought this up first. Hang on. I mean, I got to find it real quick. No biggie. Random. Random.org. Let's get away from the Hobby Lobby coupon. Okay, so let me get it not to flash out. So here we go. We'll bring it up a little bigger. So the numbers are between 1 and 100. I'm going to hit generate and then we'll get a number right there. Wait a minute. Let me find a spot where everybody can see because it flashes my camera out really bad. Uh, hang on, guys. There we go. All right, so between 1 and 100. Okay, so we're going to generate. Did I hit it? Generate. Okay, the result is eight. The result is eight. So if there's anybody here, if, if everybody went over eight, we'll generate again. But um, the number eight, whoever gets eight or closest to without going over. So Carrie, can you check for me, please, and see? If anybody put in eight or the first person that put in eight. Okay, so let me get my, let me unflash my camera here. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Julie Topaz, all right, Julie. And Julie, if you don't do it, maybe your grands might. Julie, I know her last name isn't Topaz. If you ever see me put in this, People want it automatically comes up in my spell check now. I put in I K H and it finishes it for me. It's Julie. I know her last name isn't Topaz. That's been a joke for a long, long, long time. Well, anyway, but Julie, yay! So if you don't want to do the file folder project, maybe one of the grands can, or they can both do it together. So there you go. So that'll go out to Julie. Thanks, everybody. Um. Christy, have I sent you an art card? Have I ever sent you an art card, Christy? Christy, you need an art card. Email me. And, and oh, and by the way, one other thing too, guys. If you send me your address, I never share it with anybody, not even anybody in the group. Not even my mods. Nobody gets your address. I, if somebody wants to send you something, I will direct them to you. I don't give away any addresses ever. So, um, you know... I think the only time I've ever given one address away and that's somebody I knew already had the address, moved and lost the person's address. So, you know, but I don't give out anybody's addresses. So just FYI. But yeah, Christy, if you then email me, Carrie, would you put my email back in again? Email me, Christy, and I will send you an art card. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and uh, then we'll get on to another project. But thanks, Carrie, for my little chickadee and thanks everybody for watching the file folder fodder project week nine again check out packer dies uh she's been doing all the file folders too sometimes she just posts pictures but i think most times she's done weeks uh, i mean uh videos but she's done enough videos believe me that you see her and she's got tons of her own videos you'll see her awesome collage mixed media style so okay guys i will brb